Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Escape from Monkey Island. Last time we did a few rounds of monkey combat and won ourselves a bronze hat. Hmm, wonder what we could use that for. Anyway, I'm now um, in the lower right. I'm going to head to back to this uh, giant monkey head. Remember how uh, we opened that thing up with the Q-tip in the ear and it uh, opened the way to that creepy lava meaty cavern that where uh, the chuck was residing wonder if we can go back in oh look at all the monkeys look at all them look at them oh there they go frightening a monkey head on a stick Ew. well they seem to have taken the uh, fence and gate down frightening all right a monkey head on What the? Oh, looks like. Uh, <laughs> Here lies Jojo Senior, loyal to the end. There's that grave with that monkey we left hanging there. I can't believe I'm looking up the nose of a giant monkey. It looks like there's some sort of latch in there. Huh. That's the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. <laughs> I can't imagine this thing smells good when it's open. Well, you've already experienced it open. Hey, there's the Q-tip. It seems to have failed due to a stress fracture and too much torsional pressure. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hasn't been cleaned in a while. There's some nasty wax buildup. Huh. There's also what appears to be a part of a broken Q-tip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't imagine why I'd need such a thing. Again. <laughs> huh, but he said that there is a latch inside the monkey nose. Well, we have a banana picker. Let's pick that nose. Guess there's more than one way to skin a monkey. Wow, I actually get to use this banana picker more than once. <laughs> you already said that. All right. Oh, but if you take it, the mouth closes, so you uh, have to keep it there while it's open. All right, so. Ah, I want to go in the monkey head. Alright, come on. You can do it, no, Guybrush. Climb the stairs. Monkey halitosis. I'm not picking that up. Ah. There we go. I knew you could do it. Hey, there's a hidden passage back here. Hmm, so if we open it from the nose, something different hey, happens. Hey, this place looks like some sort of control room. Whoa, this is weird. What is going on here? can't imagine that this actually steers anything. Looks like an interior designer must have been trapped on the island at one time. <laughs> hmm, what else is around here? There appear to be a bunch of valves and pressure lines running into this control panel. They look like controls of some sort. How about? Nothing happened. Ah. Uh, hmm. can't imagine that this actually steers anything. Yeah, what would this steer? It's a monkey head. And it looks like those two portals are eyes? I don't know. It looks like something important is supposed to go in there. Hmm. That's what she said. Okay. Well, there's nothing we can do in here, but I thought I'd just uh, show this off to you. It's quiet. There doesn't seem to be any pressure buildup. Darn. But uh, let's go ask Jojo Jr. about this. I'll meet you at him. All right, so here's Jojo Jr. What does he have to say about it? Hello again, Monkey Prince. Greetings, unenlightened one. There are buttons and levers and stuff in the giant monkey head. Very interesting. Um. Well. Okay. Um. I really should be going. I wish you luck and health on your journey. He doesn't care. Anyway, um... Well, there's a few other things I want to do. It seems like we're kind of at a dead end here, but, um... Well, let's see what else we can do around here. Let's see, I think I'm going to head to... Oh, gosh, where do I want to go now? Um... I'll meet you down by the beach where uh, we started out, so I'll see you there. Alright, here I am, and here's, uh, Timmy here. Hey, Timmy. Hmm, let's pull the same thing we did in Monkey Island 1. 
and get little Timmy to follow us with bananas. Here, have a banana. Aw, he likes the banana. Anyway, you go out into the world map, or world map, island map, whatever, and little Timmy's following you. Hey, Timmy. Anyway, let's uh, go over to that mine again. Remember that big metal door we saw there? And you see Timmy's still following you. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. I had guess we have to give him another monkey. Or another... Another monkey, no, another banana. Here, have a banana. And he'll follow us some more. Uh, it sounds a little bit too crispy for a banana, the way it sounds when he eats it, but whatever. Alright. And, um... We have this, uh, door over here. It's dark in there, but I can see the latch for the door. Hmm. It's a closed vent of some sort. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I pressed the wrong button. Alright, so we're going to open this vent, and I think, I think we lost Timmy. Crap. Alright, I got Timmy back. And, um, what you want to do... Looks like Timmy can fit through that, uh, vent. So let's, uh, see if he can't do anything in there. And what you want to do, close the vent. Ha. And then taunt him from the other side with another banana. Here, monkey, monkey, monkey. What will he do? He will open the door that just to get like to it. Like a charm. Here, have a banana. And that's how you're getting shard. Om nom nom. All right. You got your nanners. Now, what is in here? Ow. Ow. Huh. What in the Sir Francis Drake does all this machinery do? <laughs> It seems to have fallen into the machinery. A weed whipper. I wonder what this gauge is for. So much strange stuff. Anyway, let's, um... I can't reach it. Well, that's why we have this. Let's get that weed whipper. Got it. And now the gears will be jammed. banana is really starting to come in handy. <laughs> but, um, it seems like... We're still... it's uh, still not moving. Hmm. Where have we seen weeds? Well... Remember the lava field? Remember that uh, pool of lava we created? How there were some weeds by it? Well, the, I, I will meet you there. So, we have a pool of lava, we have a patch of weeds, and we have a weed whipper. And you're about to see how conveniently placed this... Uh, pool of lava is. And yes, I know my I'm having to go back and forth between other saves, and that's why I have to still have some items that I didn't have before, and I'm missing other items. It's because I uh, just with how mixed up everything is. But I'll show you how how to do everything. Don't worry. It's still still follow along the, the storyline. Don't worry. Anyway, we have ourselves a weed ripper. Let's use it on the weeds. I'll put my weeds back and forth. I'll put my weeds back and forth. I remember those roots in that tunnel. Almost. I, what is this going to accomplish? Are we just going to do short chores for the heck of it? Well. When you do that, the lava starts to pour in, and we get a neat cutscene. What good does that do us? And 
How is it flowing along an even surface? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, this is how the machine is powered. Oh snap. Back the lava goes. Back to the earth from whence it came. Cool beans. So, um, uh, there you go. But uh, there's still one more thing left to do. We need to get the rest of Herman's memory back. Yeah, he still, he pretty much remembers everything that, um, he's done with us and his time on the island. But I think there's one more thing we can do. So, let's go have a chat with him, shall we? Here's Herman Toothra himself. Let's see, we have. Okay, I do have all the items I need, and I'm all caught up. Alright. Now, remember that this accordion had uh, the letters HT on it, but first I really want to confirm that he doesn't say anything about it. Oh. There we go. Herman? Rayboard? Are you sure your memory's. Try me! So, no! Nothing. Do you remember anything else? I remember. I especially remember. A all right, all right. Let's pour over your men. What? See you later, Herman. Who? Oh. Now get ready for some plot. Herman? Where? Ow! Ouch! Uh, what in the name of hey? I just remembered where I left my pants. Finally. That's, um. Great. I guess. Uh, what about Ozzy Mandrel? Ozzy Mandrel? Never heard of him. <gasps> Wait! Now I remember! Oh no! By Triton's panty line, this is. Oh, what? Herman? Oh? Oh yeah, that's me. Herman. <laughs> Listen, Junior, you better take a seat because I got some whale staggering news to lay on you. I didn't know whales could stagger, but go ahead. <laughs> Okay, first of all, my real name isn't Herman Toothrot. Oh, really? What is it? I'll get to that. First, let me tell you how I ended up here on Monkey Island. With nothing but a busted accordion, most of the clothes on my back, and a head full of broken memories. Is this going to take a while? I'm in kind of a hurry. More life story. Oh, Andy, this is important. <laughs> like so many stories, it began some 20 years ago in a bar on the other side of the world. I had been lured out of my peaceful retirement in the Caribbean by the thrill of a dangerous sailing regatta off the coast of Australia. Oh, Australia? Well, wait a minute. It... Hush up, kid. I'm telling a story here. Sorry. Anyhow, the night before the competition, I was stealing myself for the race with several pitchers of grog. That's unhealthy. I was joined at the bar by one of the other competitors, an unhappy Australian tycoon with the unlikely name of Ozzy Mandro. No. Yes. The poor guy seemed so sad just because no one would do business with him anymore. Well, to cheer him up, I regaled him with stories of my adventures on the untamed Caribbean seas. So you were the one who told Ozzy about the lucrative development opportunities of the Caribbean. Yes, but that's not all. The next day, as I reached the race's halfway point, I'd already forgotten the grog-induced revelries of the night before. <laughs> Suddenly, How I do you found remember myself now? being rammed by another boat, pushed into a freakish whirlpool. It was none other than Ozzy. I hate it when that happens. It gets worse. Yipes. I hadn't just told Ozzy about the wonders of the Caribbean. I'd also told him about all of its terrible voodoo secrets. Secrets that men would kill to possess. I told him about the gate to heck known as Big Whoop. I told him about the unbelievable lineage of the three-headed monkey. Hey. Worst of all, I told him about the ultimate insult, the voodoo talisman that could make mice out of men. Remind me to never tell you a secret. <laughs> Strangely, the whirlpool didn't kill me. Instead, it dropped me and my shattered ship on the other side of the world. By the time I had righted myself, I had no idea who I was or where I came from. I took the name Herman Toothrot after the remaining letters on my accordion. H.T. H.T.? Wait a minute, you're not telling me that you're really... That's right. My real name is 
Horatio Torquemada Marley. Plot twist. <laughs> but you can't be Governor Marley. I mean, everyone knows that H.T. Marley died over 20 years ago. Off the coast of Australia. In a boat race. <laughs> Get your thinking hands off of me, you bland octopus. But sir, we're family. See? I married your granddaughter, Elaine. Oh, that's just wonderful. I finally rid myself of 20 years of amnesia, and the first thing I learned is that my granddaughter has married the sorriest excuse for a pirate in the seven seas. Hey. So I'm gonna get me a coconut so I can go back to being blissfully ignorant. Oh, we take the accordion back. Huh. That's that's quite a story. And I have a lot to say about that story. Let me tell you, but um, we will save that for next time on Let's Play Escape from Monkey Island. Thank you for watching and have a good day.